Hey, what's up guys? Good morning. It's Friday. Um, okay, so I have kind of like a little interesting story about last night. So one of my friends came over, Tomas, and he parked his car down here in back of the guest house, right on the street down here. Let me show you. Right down there. So this isn't a main street. This is kind of like, there's not a lot of traffic on it ever. There's hardly any cars on it ever. Oh, and there goes a car right now. And also, there's no houses facing onto this street. This street, like everyone's backyard pretty much faces onto this street. So nobody parks their cars there. So the street's always empty and there's hardly any traffic on the street. Okay, so he came over to my house and he parked his car down there and then he came up here to the guest house and we were hanging out for a bit. Um, but when he first got here, we were sitting down on the stairs down below. Let me show you that really quick. We were sitting right there and his car was parked right there. Tomas drives like a classic GMC 1953 pickup, so it's pretty un, un, it's a pretty unusual car. You don't see a lot of this car around, and it's pretty interesting. So it's not unusual for people to stop and look at it and stuff and take pictures. So last night, the car was parked down there. We're sitting on those steps. A lady in a orange Volkswagen Beetle, like an old one, drives by, does a U-turn, parks behind the car, takes a picture of it, drives up on the side of the car, takes a picture of it, drives in front of his car, parks, takes a picture of it. Meanwhile, we're sitting on those steps watching this all happen. Now, I'm not sure if the lady saw us sitting there because it is pr kind of hard to see people sitting there because there's a lot of trees. So we're sitting there hanging out, the lady is taking these pictures, then she drives away, does U-turn and drives away, pulls in onto a side street. About a minute later, she comes back around and drives by again, but this time she doesn't stop. She's just looking and just drives by again, again, turns onto like a side street. So we're still sitting down there. Maybe like five minutes later, a guy comes walking up the street um, and he has like, he has like a, a sweatshirt on and he has, the thing that got me was that he was wearing black gloves. Now the weather has been pretty warm lately, so it's pretty unusual for someone to be wearing gloves in the early evening because it's it's not cold like it's really weird that he was wearing gloves so he's walking by the car he walks on the driver's side of the car looks kind of looks in and then looks up and sees us and then just keeps walking and i thought this might just be me being paranoid but what it looked like to me is that this lady stopped took pictures of this car told somebody the car was there and then this guy, in other words, what I'm saying is, to me what it looked like is that she was a spotter and she contacted someone to come to try to steal the car. And then he saw us and then he left. So after that whole thing happened, I told Tomas what I thought was going on. He was saying I was paranoid and that that's not what was happening. I don't know. So we go up in, we're in my room in, inside the guest house. We're not outside anymore. And at, by this point, it's dark. This is probably about half an hour after that happened. So we're inside my room hanging out then you think I I go you know what I'm just gonna go look out the window and check on your car just in case I go outside look at his car and there's like another car parked behind it and I was just like okay this is getting kind of weird so I tell Tomas he goes down there and gets inside his car when when we go down there to the gate the other car pulls out and drives a little further down the street and parks again Tomas gets into his car and I tell him bring the car to the front of the house so he brings the car to the front of the house. Right when he leaves, the other car drives away. It just seemed like really fishy to me. Like it, I almost felt like someone was trying to steal his car last night. And it's a good thing we were there because nothing happened to the car. I don't know. Check it out, guys. I barbecued some vegetarian stuff. We got some tofu and some veggie dogs. So I did a little solo Ace Bandits practice down here. Just just myself. Now my friend Simon invited me over to like, he's hanging out at his girlfriend's apartment. He invited me over. Probably gonna have a few beers, hang out for a little bit. On my way out guys, just gonna pick up some beer real quick. It's funny guys, whenever there's like another Dodge around, like, cause I drive a Dodge, they always park next to me. See, that's it right there. So I had to park like two streets down from the apartment cause there's like never any parking around here. It's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Okay, perfect. He got the fourth king. Toby got the fourth king in King's Cup, so he has to drink whatever the fuck is in here. So it's like a mixture of whatever. So Toby, have fun with that. Oh my god, there's beer in there. Oh my god. Liquor. If it makes them feel better, let's show them what cards are left. <laughs> so there's two oh, I could have gotten there's seven, two sevens, seven. a J, and a, and a five. five. But he, he picked the last king, so he has to drink all that yeah. crap. Uh, why keep not? going, Toby, keep going. Simon, you poured that shit in there. <laughs> that's no, that's what, lost. that's what did it. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? So I'm back here at home. Um, as you may have seen, I lost King's Cup, but don't worry, I did not drink that giant chalice of some mixed up, messed up drink. Like, it was like beer mixed with like tequila, mixed with like vodka, mixed with fruit punch. It was a messed up concoction. Don't worry, I did not drink that whole thing. And do not worry, I did not drive home drunk. But yeah, I did lose King's Cup. Well, I was supposed to be finishing that drink, but I did not finish it. I kind of cheated there but whatever good night guys i will talk to you tomorrow peace good night